Welcome back, everybody. Up to 80% of the population will experience low back pain or neck pain at some time in their lives. Causes include overexercise, improper posture, sports injuries, or degenerative disease. Back or neck pain can affect a person's quality of life, work, performance, and enjoyment of favorite activities, but there is help. Joining us this morning, Rod Paymon, a board-certified spine surgeon who will explain the causes of spinal problems and how they can be treated. We want to welcome him to Fox 11 News this morning. So good to see you, Dr. Paymon. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming all the way from Encino and oh, down pleasure. in Los Angeles area. It doesn't take much to convince me to come to San <laughs> I know, Bobby, right? So, we live yeah. in paradise. <laughs> uh, a lot of people can probably benefit from this talk that we're about to have because uh, they suffer from maybe back problems, neck issues. Kind of talk to me first of all about how this all kind of comes about. You know, back pain is very common, uh, and it's uh, one of the leading reasons people go to the emergency room. And uh, typically the main cause is an innocent muscle strain or ligament sprain. And this comes about from uh, lifting something too heavy or twisting while lifting. Mm -hmm. So a very innocent cause for an injury that can cause significant pain. And so that's the most common cause. Right. And then, you know, what are some of the options that people have, maybe non-surgical therapies that they can do to kind of combat this pain? The majority of back pain does uh, uh, get relieved with non-surgical treatments. So uh, typically it's one to two days, no more, of bed rest. Mm -hmm followed by the use of uh, over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications and then you uh, incorporate a stretch or physical therapy treatment even chiropractic care and usually uh, the back pain responds to these treatments. Tell me a little bit about your specialty. What exactly do you do and what, how do patients kind of come to you for what reasons? So I'm um, an orthopedic surgeon specializing in spine surgery and typically patients that come to see me are uh, persons, people that have been suffering with greater than two to three months of pain. Right. Pain that is not uh, getting relieved with uh, non-surgical treatments such as physical therapy, chiropractic care, massage, even yoga. Uh, medications are not controlling the pain and the pain is actually getting worse. Right. And um, now it's starting to go into their arms and legs. That's, that's when these symptoms are more serious. That when it starts to affect pain. the arms, legs, fingers, numbness, weakness, the radiating pain. And where does this kind of come from? What are the, the, the maybe the, the causes of this? That so this has just kind of come back, come about at any time in your life? You know, it, it does not. It mm -hmm. typically uh, requires an injury or an inciting event. And um, I have a model here. I mean, the most uh, typical cause uh, stems from the disc. Right. The disc is the soft tissue cushion uh, between the bones in our back and neck. And when the disc uh, herniates or protrudes or tears, it tends to irritate the nerves and the spinal cord, which are running down the center and the side of the spine. Is and that when they, you get a pinched nerve? That's when you get a pinched nerve. And gotcha. so when we say slipped or herniated disc, pinched nerve, that's what we're talking about. So talk to me about uh, maybe some ways that people are, can be treated for, for something like this. So uh, typically, again, a few days of bed rest, no more than two, use of anti-inflammatories over the counter, uh, typically takes care of the problem. Making ergonomic changes at work, uh, correcting your posture, um, and losing weight. Let's be honest, that's probably one of the most common causes is uh, poor health, right. uh, poor positioning, and poor muscle strength. And all this can be uh, worked on with a personal trainer, or a yoga instructor, or um, eventually a physical therapist. So when surgery is required, though, what kind of procedures do you recommend? You know, surgery, uh, as I mentioned, is the end of the right. treatment uh, 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 option and when it is required typically a nerve is pinched so the goal of surgery is relieve the pinching of the nerve and uh, with the use of our modern day technology now we're able to do the majority of these surgeries outpatient where the patient goes home mm -hmm. the same day usually within a few hours and again the goal is to relieve the pinch and uh, with the use of microscope technology we're able to do uh, you know one centimeter two centimeter incisions mm -hmm. uh, uh, with a muscle sparing approach, usually not taking down any muscle, which is typically the cause of debilitating pain after surgery. So now patients are back to work within a few days. Oh, wow. The pain is relieved usually immediately. And spinal disc replacement, is that what you're speaking about right now? Spinal disc re replacement is an option. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not for everyone. Um, however, it's uh, an excellent alternative to what we've been doing traditionally, which is spinal fusion. Right. So it maintains motion. Um, it's uh, a different type of surgery, and as I mentioned, it's not for everyone, but typically consulting with your specialist uh, is usually the best first step to see if you're a candidate for disc replacement technology. We have about 20 seconds here. How would you like to wrap this up? 
I'd like to say, you know, uh, promoting health. I Santa Barbara and, and driving around all day uh, yesterday, uh, pretty healthy town. Right. Um, and I notice, uh, I actually attend a yoga retreat here um, just outside of Santa Barbara once yeah. a year. I think promoting health, weight loss, and really a proper posture and positioning at work and maintaining a really strong healthy core so um, making a big difference making a big difference yeah. dr rod payman his office in encino california thank you so much for joining us this Thanks. morning thank you for joining us here on fox 11 we'll see you tomorrow